as I strip off my binder, the very thing that makes me feel comfortable in my own skin, I think back to the girl who genuinely thought she was hot shit as she took a drag from a cigarette and told me to love your body because it's the only one you have. What I want to tell her is that I do love my body. I love my body enough not to poison it with cigarette smoke at the age of 16. I love my body enough to take walks every day and to stretch after I've sat for too long and to eat more than one vegetable every three days. I love my body enough to try to take care of it so it'll last a long time. Maybe even longer than hers. What I want to tell her is that it's my chest that I hate. My chest is the one that is so heavy it weighs my shoulders forward. My chest is the one that no matter how hard I try, it won't stay flat. My chest is the thing that people see and immediately start making the assumptions that my pronouns are she. People see my chest and assume that it is the reason I prefer watching video games rather than playing them. They assume that it is the reason I can't lift more than one box, not because I haven't done enough push-ups. Yet. They see my chest and they assume that because they have deemed me woman, I must be overly sensitive and emotionally haywire because history claims that's how all women are. And they would be correct. I am overly sensitive and emotionally haywire, but that's not because of my chromosomes. It's not because I have the chest, it's because I don't want the chest. Every reminder that I have this part that clings to my beloved body but doesn't align with my brain is enough to send me spiraling. Every time I jump, I feel it. Every time I shop for clothes, I feel it. Every time it gets above 80 degrees and sweat forms in the shape of my binder, I feel it. I feel it. And I can barely talk about it because that would mean acknowledging out loud that it exists. You've noticed I haven't said boobs, breasts, tits. Because pairing those words with my precious body is almost too much. I try to hide my chest as best as I can with a binder and layers of t-shirts and flannels and cardigans. And when I think I've done a good job... I step outside, and I'm greeted with a polite, Hello, miss. And I want to die right there on the sidewalk, on the tile floor, on the counter, because, damn it, that wasn't the title I was going for. So I remind myself to take a look at my red hair, and my short legs, and my stocky torso, and to love my body even if... My chest isn't up to snuff yet, and some cis bitch with a cigarette hanging out of her mouth thought she was better than me.